Hey everybody, welcome back to Black Phoenix Entertainment. Let's talk about something super interesting that I've been inspired by an interaction online that I had with another vlogger. Uh, let's talk about the pedal box, pedal commander, pedal this, pedal that. All these type of throttle response controllers. What are they? What do they actually do? And how do they work? Let's, uh, let's talk about all of that after the intro. So when I say inspired by an interaction, yes. I had a little interaction online with another fellow motor vlogger, another Can-Am type YouTube channel, and um, they was essentially selling these. I'm not gonna get into that part in this video. This is that part, that whole interaction, and how I feel about the Can-Am community and some of these other channels. That's gonna be a whole nother video. So go down there, like, subscribe, hit the bell notification. That way you'll get notified when that video does actually come out. So what I'm actually gonna talk about is the pedal box, pedal commander, all those throttle control type computer systems, basically. Uh, what do they do? How do they work? All that fun stuff. Before I get into that, though, we got to talk about throttle control in general, because there is some misconceptions out there about throttle, and even the way that um, cars and bikes have evolved, the throttle kind of works a little differently now. So what do I mean when I say it works a little bit differently? Way back in the day, kids, there used to be something called throttle by cable. So when you were in a car, or on a bike, or whatever, when you twist the throttle or push the gas, there was a physical cable that went from that to the throttle body that kind of opened it up depending on how much you were twisting the throttle or pushing the gas. That is called a one-for-one. One-for-one for one. One one throttle. So for every little bit that you push, that's how much it opens. It doesn't matter. You push it all the way, it opens up all the way instantly. Um, they don't so much do that anymore. For the most part, is things are now called throttle by wire, electronic throttle bodies. What does that mean? That means there is no physical wire going between your throttle and the actual throttle body on the engine. It is all computers, it is all sensors, it's all wires, hence throttle by wire. Now, these throttle controls have been around forever, especially on a street racing performance scene, drag racing, stuff like that. They've just been there. Now, back in the day, again, talk about throttle by cable, um, there was no real electronics to trick. It was basically, it was a physical cable. So you're probably asking yourself, well, how did that work? <laughs> basically, it wasn't an electronic box. It was a device that basically you kind of changed how the I'm trying to explain this the right way because it's, it's been a while and it's tough to do that without, you know, a visual, which I don't have. Um, basically, it would make half throttle, full throttle by adjusting the cables and doing something. So you'd push the pedal down and it would open the throttle body even more so quarter throttle would be like half throttle three-fourths throttle I think you're get I, I think you're getting onto it now the less you push the pedal down the more the throttle body opens so it gives you that sense of one throttle response two I'm going faster gaining more power and more speed that's basically what it, you know what back in the day again throttle by cable that was their selling point Fast forward to throttle by wire, that obviously works a little bit differently. Now you've got actual computer systems that kind of splice into the throttle control wires and stuff like that. Even ECU tuning and stuff will be able to change those parameters. So modern vehicles, I'm saying vehicles because this includes bikes and cars too, um, not always a one for one. And I think sometimes you'll notice that if you push the gas and there's a little bit of lag and then it goes. You notice it more in high performance vehicles. Your average everyday Toyota Corolla or Honda Civic, you're not really gonna notice it because they don't have that high of horsepower. You notice it in much higher end cars like your Audis, your twin turbo Porsches, supercars, and even just highly modified vehicles. You will start noticing that lag. If you're at, let's just say 2,000, 2,500 RPMs and you're just lightly on the throttle, let's say you're on like 10% throttle, and then you reach 2,500 RPMs, you're like, I just wanna go, and you slam your foot down on the gas and you start flying. Now, back in the day, throttle by cable. Hold on, let me just make sure I don't die here. I'm gonna go. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. So back in the day, throttle by cable, one for one, you push that gas down all the way, boom, that throttle opens up all the way instantly and you've got the full power of your vehicle. Not so much anymore to these car manufacturers and to meet the standards of the government's EPA miles per gallon all that stuff 
That's why it's no longer a one for one. Throttle by wire, you're at 2,500 RPMs at 10% throttle. You want full throttle, you're like, oh, I gotta make a pass or go through this intersection or whatever. You hit that gas, you are not instantly getting 100% throttle. It ramps up. So even though you've got the pedal or your, you know, your throttle twisted all the way, and you're, you know, you can't, you're gonna push it to the floor, you're gonna tear this thing off, you're not getting 100% throttle. You're getting, it slowly ramps up, and that depends on the vehicle. I'm not gonna throw out numbers because people will just try to blast me on that. But, you know, if you're at 10%, it may go, okay, let's go up to 20, 25, 30, 30, you know, 35%, uh, over a scaled amount of time, and then you'll hit 100%. And that's where your lag comes in. All right, so now that we have a little background on how these work and how throttles work, let's actually talk about these throttle boxes for a minute. Um, let's try not to die again. All right, good, Went through the intersection. There's a misconception out there, and especially by some of these sellers saying, you'll gain power, you gain speed, gain power, all of that. Uh, no, I'm sorry, I'm gonna flat out say it. You are not gaining anything. You're not gaining power, you're not gaining speed just by throwing this on there. The, these throttle boxes do not mess with any timing. They, they're not spliced directly into the computer. You don't, they don't change fuel tables. They don't change ignition. They don't change timing. They change only the throttle response, the response between the throttle and the throttle bodies. That's the only thing they change. And why am I going on about this? Because I don't want people, I don't want to say the word scammed, but depending on who the seller is, they might be trying to pull something like that. Um, the misconception of, oh, I'm not going to get tuned. I'm not going to, you know, get an ECU tune or power commander. I'll just get a pedal box and my, my bike will be faster. Uh, yes and no. Again, you'll get, the, you'll get the feeling that it's faster because you're twisting the throttle and you'll get the throttle response. Sure. You'll get that instant response and be like, oh yeah, I'm super fast. At the end of the day, it's not because you're not actually gaining power. You're getting the feeling, feeling of more power. And for some people, that's fine. If that's what you want, you have to go into it knowing, okay, this is what I'm getting. You know, I know I'm not changing any fuel tables. I know I'm not getting an actual tune. I just want better throttle response. Fine, that's it. If that's what you want, if you've got a specific vehicle or whatever that's got some sort of laggy, you know, throttle from the factory, totally cool. And like I said, a lot of the higher end cars will do it. A lot of the uh, forced induction cars, Audi, uh, Porsches, for example, will do that. The guys will buy and be like, and again, they ramp it up due to the regulations and stuff. They'll buy just a pedal box just to get the power that is advertised from the factory. You are not gaining anything. You are just getting the power that is there already from the factory at your full disposal. Now, there are some ECU tunes. Again, this is all vehicle dependent. So if you guys want to blast me, go for it. But there's so many different vehicles and applications out there. I can't possibly talk about them all. I'm sure this video is going to be much longer than it has to be anyways. But certain ECU tunes, certain brands and stuff like that, you can get a tune and tune the throttle response with it. So there you go. So at that point, there's no need for a pedal box. You can just do it through an ECU tune and you're good to go. Which I personally think that's the route to go. Because now you're not buying two things. You're not buying a pedal box and a tune. You're just doing a tune, doing everything in that, and you're getting much, much more. Let's talk about it. It is not a scam. Pedal box is not a scam. Those throttle controllers, modern ones. Modern ones are not. Back in the day, eh, yeah, it was a little iffy. You could just pull the pedal, push the pedal down and get the same response. Kind of on the applications here too. Newer ones, yeah, you could twist the throttle all the way and kind of get the same response. It really depends on what you're looking for. Somebody like me who's much more performance oriented, who knows what I'm talking about, who knows what I'm looking for, something like that's not for me. Pedal box, pedal commander, throttle control, it's not for me. I'm gonna go straight for the ECU tune and get a little bit more out of it and get the throttle response anyways. So you've got to ask yourself, all right, is my current vehicle or bike, is the throttle laggy one? Do I want it not to be laggy? Am I looking for a one-for-one -one ratio on my throttle response to the throttle controller? And here's the key, is this all I want? Because I say that, is that all I want? Because you could essentially, again, I go back, you don't want to buy two things. Do you want to buy a pedal box and then three months later be like, oh, well now I actually want more power. Let me go get tuned. Whereas that tune could do exactly what the pedal box did three months ago. That's my point, ladies and gentlemen. That's the key. If a, 
if you're missing that, I'm sorry. If I'm not explaining it correctly, I'm sorry. But th that's exactly what it is. That's the point of this video here. So that's it. That's my incessant rambling. Uh, do the research. Do the research on your own. Research everything that I said here. There are other videos about it. You know, about uh, pedal bikes in particular. Uh, check them out. Check out. If, if that's something you really want, and again, that's what you're looking for, hey. You know, good for you. I'm all for it. Whatever makes you guys happy. I just want people out there to know everything there is to know before you go and make a decision. That's it. That's what Black Phoenix is here for. That's what BPE does for you. And that's why I like making these videos. I like helping people out, doing fun things. And you guys can help me out by let me know down in the comments if I'm doing a good job. If this video was helpful at all. Uh, if I'm just rambling about nothing and nothing made any sense. You can let me know that too. I don't care. Just as long as you're nice about it. I don't mind you know, any of the constructive criticism comments. And with all that being said, it is time. While you're down there commenting, do the subscribing, do the liking, do the sharing, all that stuff. Share this with the friends who might be interested in a video like this. You never know. And while you're down there, I've got a link down to Black Phoenix merchandise. You can save some money on it. Discount code BPE10. I appreciate you guys rocking with the flock. Be on a lookout for that next video. I'll see you guys on the next one.